On January 1st, 08, Supervisor Schmidt and Councilman De Batista, Rivallo, De Carlo, and O'Keefe adopted rules regulating public comment. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered together a group of residents and citizens of Putnam County and these wonderful United States of America to protest the limiting of our public speech. Every meeting, every town board meeting, every planning board meeting, every zoning board meeting begins with the Pledge of Allegiance. And this year, Supervisor Smith has introduced a new procedure whereby we also pay homage to our fallen heroes. We take a moment of silence. Our Constitution is violated. We are not permitted to speak. We are not permitted public comments. Here we have Norman Rockwell's famous illustration of a citizen standing with his fellow citizens and standing proudly and addressing his public officials. But we cannot do this. By denying the public the right to speak, these public officials violate the flag, they violate the Constitution, and they dishonor our fallen heroes. What is your opinion of limiting comment solely to agenda items, prohibiting all comment at work sessions, and reserving time for comment at town board meetings only after resolutions have been adopted? Most town governments have come to recognize the benefits of involving people in uh, local decision making. Residents attending town meetings have all also been able to contribute val valuable information, uh, a lot of expertise and insights into the topics being considered. However, instead of welcoming public input and embracing the democratic t tradition of openness in government, the Carmel Town Board uh, fears partic participation by residents and they operate as a dictatorship. They consider the citizens as subordinate to the town board. Uh, no comments are allowed, uh, and uh, by limiting it to only two minutes uh, after the decisions are made, it has uh, the effect of nullifying any uh, uh, contributions the public may make. The town board must recognize that they do not own the town government, but they are elected to serve the public. They cannot be allowed to turn our town into an oligarchy. There's an ancient axiom that says reasonable people may disagree reasonably. By nullifying and quashing all public input in our town board meetings, this board is acting in what can only be described charitably as a cowardly fashion. They are truly afraid that the citizens of this town may disagree with whatever actions the board deems proper for us. This cannot be. We the people have a right to have our voices heard. We the people have the right to disagree with our town officials. It's time for the Carmel Town Board under our town supervisor, Mr. Schmidt, to change the rules for public discourse and to allow all of the residents of this town their rightful place in the democratic process. Thank you very much, Mark. We have uh, with us uh, Mr. Norman Marino, and Mr. Marino was a former town councilman. Mr. Marino, would you like to say a few words? Sure, I would. Uh, in 1995, I ran for town council, and uh, I put forward the issue of televising our town board meetings precisely for the uh, benefit of the people of the town of Carmel to give them the opportunity to speak uh, to the town board in front of the TV to let our concerns be known. And now today, Mr. Schmidt has denied that. My uncle, who I never met, died in 1945 uh, on the uh, Roosevelt, uh, an aircraft carrier I uh, died with 1,100 other people. He would be rolling over in his grave today to see that he died for our freedom and we are being denied that by Mr. Schmidt and the town board. I believe that we should be allowed to ask questions 
and to put our input into the town board. Call the supervisor at 628-1470 and tell him we're not going to stand for this. Freedom is worth fighting for, and we have the proof. Our past soldiers have died for our freedom. Let's make it firm in the belief that we may speak. Thank you so much, Norman.